My name is Greg Flower, and I am with Buy It, Rent a Profit. I'm the Buy It, Rent a Profit <clears throat> instructor tonight for the underwriting class. And tonight we're going to be looking at a property that I found on Crexy. And it's actually the second time I've seen this property, and I decided to take a peek at it. It's a nice little property, 14 units. Uh, they're asking 2.31 for it. So let's get into it. Let me... Uh, there's Terrence. Hello, Terrence. How are you? We're just getting started. Hey, hey, Greg. Hey, Karen. How are everybody doing? <clears throat> good, good, good. Right. So I just said uh, we're looking at a property here in uh, in Florida. It's, uh, it's over by Hollywood, Florida. And I'm going to flip over to, oops, let me do this first. Share my screen. And go to and share. Here we are. So you go get to this tab, you go to workstation, and we're going to get down to analyze a deal. Or real estate investment analyzer, which is our deal analyzer on the buyer rent a profit platform. So here's the front page. So we're going to pop in some, some numbers like we usually do. Two, three, one, zero, 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 zero. I believe that's what we want. Yep. And they're saying their NOI is one one five seven oh nine. I'm gonna put in our interest rate so we don't have to go back and forth and uh, change. Oops, change numbers. So let's see what kind of down payment we have to put in. To get us up to the 1.3, almost there. Yeah, 50%. That's where it's usually, it ends up right around. <laughs> like I said, this number here, the debt service ratio, they want to see your numbers come in right around 1.3. So that's going to make our loan amount a million one, a little over. And our cap rate is at a five, and that's what they said it was trading at. So let's let's get down to it. Just waiting on the screen. So we're buying multifamily. And I'm just going to call this name of this street that it's on. I did download a picture. Hopefully it'll come up where it should be. Of course, it's not. <laughs> uh, what, oh, oh, here it is. This is the old picture I took from the last time I, I looked at it. I didn't do a complete underwriting on it, though. Okay. Age of the property was built in 1962. So what does that make it? Uh, was it 59 years old? 61, 61. Yeah. And the site area, it's on 0.7 acres. So if you multiply that out, it comes out to 32,670. That's an acre is 43,560. And the gross rentable space is 7552. Box long. Okay, so we do want to provide unit details. Now, this is a little odd the way they have it, but I'm just going to put it in here anyway the way they have it. So they have nine one-bedrooms, and those are 475 square feet, and the unit rent right now is 1200 Then they got some two bedrooms and it's they got two of them these have a dens on them so they're 550 square feet and those rent for 1250 which i think is kind of low but for a two bedroom but 
and it is if you when we get to the uh, market rents you'll see because you have other two bedrooms that are just straight away and those are 700 square feet and they have three of those there's your 14 units and those are 700 square feet and those are renting right now for seventeen hundred dollars <throat> so there's your gross annual rent they do have other income it's it's a laundry and it's three three sixty and their vacancy rent for a small unit is five percent which is kind of high for only 14 units but that's that's what they're telling me it is so that's what i'm putting in there let's save and move on so now here comes the fun part the expenses they were actually pretty close with their uh their tax calculation that's the one that always throws them off they they had it listed at uh thirty three thousand sixty two dollars so when you look at the millage rate for broward county it's actually uh two zero dot three one 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 so you take your purchase price the two million three hundred and ten thousand you times that by point eight zero and then you divide that i'm sorry you times that by the millage rate the two zero dot three one 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 and then you come up uh, you divide that by a thousand and you come up with the, the real tax number and it's going to get you close which is thirty seven thousand 535 they were only off by uh two thousand dollars which really was really not too bad i mean you actually could have taken their number so their insurance i have this on another page i printed everything out but i like writing everything out too i'm old school because i'm old and so we got the tax we got the insurance their maintenance fee i thought was a little high for a 14 unit their management fee i mean not their maintenance their management fee is like ten thousand seven thirteen. i'd have to figure out what the percentage five percent of their total expenses that's i guess that's not too bad but it's, you got to figure it out on the rent on their total rent so yeah that's about me if they're we go back and look. I forget what their uh, income was, but I think it was around. That's about 5%. So that's not too bad. It just seemed high for me for a little 14 unit. Maintenance repair was $7,000. And they have landscaping at $4,800. So we got to add that box on the bottom. So just like our uh, rents or our units, we can add. Whatever we need to let add. Landscaping was at 4,800. Yep. And had pest control, 1,200. Only 100 bucks a month. That's not too shabby and then uh, last but not least they list their utilities at two thousand dollars so this is probably common area utilities these people pay i'm just gonna they have a separate utility box yes they do right i knew it was there that's two thousand dollars so it's probably common area utilities so this isn't too bad see if you look normally you know you calculate your expenses and it's going to be between 45 and 55 percent and there we are at 45 almost 46 percent so that's really not too bad but here you go your cash on cash return up on the upper right here at 10 10.37 so let's look what it goes to now once you add in the expenses it drops down to two 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 and a quarter <clears throat> so like i said this property's been on the market for quite a while I, I don't remember exactly but i know we were living here i think i was here maybe two months so this it's been on the market for at least six months and it just rolled back in again and here's our cap rate sitting at a five so and you know hey let's see if we can we might be able to get this for two million so if we drop this down to two million I'm gonna see these numbers change a little bit that jumps up just by three hundred thousand it almost doubles the cash on cash return well, let's finish underwriting it at the right price
Somebody had a question? No, not yet. Oh, okay. All right, so here's our, and we're sitting, we're sitting pretty, right where we, right where we had it at, 52% down. 1.3, 1.31 is our uh, debt coverage ratio. So we're sitting right where we want to be. Here's part of our reports. I just love how fast this deal analyzer gets things done. So we're going to do our, so no, I, won't, I won't ruin the surprise here. But wait till you see what the, we can move the rents to, going by what the market says. So here we're just putting in what we expect to, to grow the income annually, and that's, that's going to change drastically. That's actually, if you go by market rents, what they're saying is market rents. Right. Let's see where our IRR comes out. Just that's an eight, so it's not that great. You know, it's almost it's almost almost at a nine. But where they list the market rents, just changing the market rents, not even changing any of the expenses. Let's go back. Yeah, those rents are pretty low. Right, they are. So let's go back and look at them, change the market to yeah, change it to the market rents. Go back over here. Let's go to income. So they're saying that the market rents for the just the one in ones can go to seventeen hundred dollars. So that's five hundred dollars right there. So that's that's a lot. Oops. A little crazy there. Seventeen hundred dollars, and the two bedrooms with the two bedroom with the den can go for seventeen fifty, which I think is low. But it's it's a low square footage, so only charging fifty dollars more for the. I think that might be able to go to eighteen hundred. But here's the here's another good one here: the two bedrooms, two thousand. Wow. Is, yeah. So that changes that changes us right there. And watch your IR, watch the, uh, oops, what did I hit here? No, we went to expenses. So let's go back to the end. That dropped our expenses down by a full percentage point, almost two. I think we're here. Let's see where our IRR goes. It jumps up to almost 10, nine, almost nine and a half. Wow. And that's, that's, that's just by... That's just by going with the market rents that they're saying that you can get now. Mm. Where is our I'm looking for the NOI? What the NOI changed to? Probably didn't go up too much. Oh, there it is. So I went up. If you look here, right here on this spot here, where it says one one seven, we were at one one five. So that's just what it changed it to. It drops. It jumps it up to two thousand dollars right in the NOI. So it jumps that up. So again, you know, if you want to change it, send this report out. Oh, let me go back here. Send this report out. You just copy this link. Hit copy. Let me go to my email. Mm -hmm. Share this tab. Go to my you know, compose. Send it to me. Mm -hmm. That link or property. I'm just going to put the link in. There it is. Yeah. And hit send. Mm -hmm. And it should be in my inbox any minute now. Uh, okay. no. There it is. Link to property. Gotcha. So it's not a bad property. I mean, the increase in rent is, is beautiful. And the nice thing about this is completely renovated. So let me go over to the, here's the OM from Keller. I just want to show you pictures of the property. And they're, they're pretty good when they do these OMs, Keller does. Mm. These, are the, these are the comps. I'm trying to find interior pictures of the property. 
know it's here someplace unless I passed them. Did I pass them? I don't I think. I have yeah, I didn't think so. I know I saw pictures. Let's see. It goes slow. That's the outside. Oh, that's the other thing. It's waterfront. It's got 135 feet of uh, waterfront. Plus, it has uh, room for six docks. Mm. So you could you could charge if somebody had a boat. You could charge for uh, dock space. Right. Which is beautiful. Are there docks there, or the docks have to be? No, put the, do the the docks are there. Mm. They're already there. Oh, that's a nice little bit of income. Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. These are just some of the comps. I could have sworn maybe it's on uh, the flyer. I could have sworn I saw pictures of the property. That's us. Huh, go figure. All right, stand by. That was that. You know, it's funny you said the two thousand dollars. I was right. just talking to uh, Kathy, and they're renting one of. They got a five-year lease to rent one of the condos here, two bedroom, two bath, two thousand dollars a month. Wow! Holy moly! Yeah. All right, stand by. Let me find this. It's here. I get I get a million emails from Crexy every day. I go through them one by one looking for something that we can underwrite. And I know I found this one. Maybe it's here. I have to go back a little bit. Terrence, did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Terrence, are you home? I walked away. I know I closed a bunch of windows here to. Uh... Yeah. All right, no big deal. Did we lose Terrence? Did we lose Terrence? Yep. All right, no big deal. So anyway, this is the property. We did okay. the end of oh, yeah, the Yeah, there yep. we go. These are all the comps that they give you on the OM. And I cannot believe they didn't put pictures of the property in the OM. I know I saw that. That was, that was the comp rents. I'm going to let them let it look in. The comp rents? Yeah. They said, they said market rents were, uh, you know, this one, look, you look at the rents. This one's fifteen hundred. That's a that shouldn't. I wouldn't list that as a comp, but it might be smaller. Doesn't say. It could be, but it could be a higher rent because of its uh, proximity to water. Yeah, the water and the boat slips. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it definitely. These are properties that sold. Oh, what was it per unit? It was one eighty. Okay. Isn't too bad. It's you know under two hundred. I like to see something a little bit different, but yeah, again by the waters. Yeah, see this one's nineteen hundred, two and one. Any amenities? They have uh, a laundry. Okay. And they're close and they're close to the water. <laughs> it's on site or in unit. On site, I believe. Yeah, because he's he's making income on the laundry. The other okay. thing you could do too, if the if, if the utilities don't pay out, you could put that uh, use utility ranger to increase your NOI mm -hmm. with their uh, utility reimbursement program. Mm -hmm. So let me go over here. I can stop recording, right? Yeah. Stop share. And uh, that wraps yeah. up our that that wraps up our underwriting. And I'm going to also go over in our next segment, everybody stand by because I'm going to stop recording here and then we're going to go back over the SEOTA process again. I have better slides. <laughs>